Raymond Thomas McNamee of Babylon is one of more than 43,000 New Yorkers who died serving our country during World War II. Surviving photographs and objects in the collection of the Long Island Museum help to tell his story. Born in Brooklyn on July 20, 1920, Raymond was the youngest of three children of Michael and Caroline McNamee. In the early 1940s, the family moved out to Long Island and lived in a townhouse at 18 Cormac Court in Babylon. Raymond, his father, brother, and sister-in-law all worked at the nearby Kenwood knitting mills. With the U.S. entry into World War II after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, Raymond registered for the draft in February 1942 and was inducted into the Army that October. After basic training in Kentucky at Camp Campbell, Private First Class McNamee went overseas to North Africa in April 1943. Assigned to B Company, 82nd Armored Reconnaissance Battalion, 2nd Armored Division, he took part in the Allied invasion of Sicily in July and August. This photograph of McNamee dates to that time and was likely included with a letter he mailed home. In addition to his army issue gear, McNamee carried this tiny Italian dictionary and wore this silver ID bracelet. While the army issued dog tags to every soldier, it was common for families of service personnel to provide them with supplemental identification should they be killed, wounded, or captured. In November 1943, the battalion sailed for England spending the winter and spring training there for the Allies' massive invasion of mainland Europe in the spring of 1944. The 82nd Battalion landed at Omaha Beach in Normandy, France, four days after D-Day, on June 10, 1944. Acting as the eyes and ears of the 2nd Armored Division, the 82nd primarily operated M8 armored cars and jeeps that scouted ahead of the slower moving tank battalions. In July, the 2nd Armored Division, with the 82nd out front, pushed south through the German lines and French villages. It then raced east, continuing to engage retreating German units, and crossed the Seine River just north of Paris at the end of August. In pursuit of the routed German army, McNamee and his comrades moved rapidly northeast, with the 82nd becoming the first Allied troops to enter Belgium on September 2nd. Continuing to remain out front, the 82nd fought sporadic battles with German troops across Belgium and the southern tip of the Netherlands before reaching the fortified German border with the rest of the division on September 19th. Called the Siegfried Line, or West Wall, the fortifications were a network of bunkers, anti-tank obstacles, and gun emplacements. With their advance stalled, McNamee and other members of the 82nd dismounted and began making patrols along the line. It was here in the first week of October that McNamee went missing. Back in Babylon, Caroline McNamee received a telegram from the army on October 26th with news that Raymond was missing in action. British troops subsequently discovered McNamee among dead American soldiers in their sector of the German border. A second telegram to Caroline on December 7th expressed the Secretary of War's sympathy that her son had been killed in action on November 24th. McNamee's obituary appeared the week before Christmas in the Brooklyn Daily Eagle. McNamee's fellow soldiers would go on to take heavy losses, assaulting the line, defeat a German counteroffensive that winter in the Battle of the Bulge, and finally force Germany's surrender in May of 1945. McNamee and other American war dead were eventually collected by Special Army units and brought to a field outside the Dutch village of Margraten for ID and burial in a new military cemetery. 
the army mailed home his few personal effects, with the family also receiving his Purple Heart for being killed in action. The Netherlands American Cemetery today is the resting place for 8,301 American service members. Their graves marked with white marble crosses or Stars of David. In gratitude to the heavy price the Americans paid in helping to liberate their country, local residents have adopted the graves in honor of the fallen men and women by learning their stories and placing flowers on special days. Visitors also include Americans, such as veteran George Perrine, who served in B Company with McNamee, and stands here next to his headstone in 2011. While Raymond McNamee died at the age of 24 in 1944, 75 years after the end of the war, we continue to remember his story and his sacrifice. <laughs>